Ventus is doing quite well for himself. We're off to Enchanted Dominion today. Combat level 3 of... Man, the glider controls on the overworld map are... I keep moving to the right and it keeps moving me to the left. Wow, this is fantastic. <laughs> Let's go to Enchanted Dominion already. Still no sign of terror. You just missed him in Dwarf Woodlands. She's sleeping. Stop! You get away from her! What? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, I've never seen anyone so beautiful. Unintentionally throwing shade at Aqua there. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Ventus. But you can call me Vent. Oh, you don't seem bad, dear. I'm certain you have a pure heart. Just like our precious Aurora. Can you tell me why she's sleeping? Long ago, Maleficent cursed her. Now she's stolen her heart. Hmm. Well then, why don't I go get it back for her? That's impossible, dear. Maleficent's home is at the Forbidden Mountain. It's not safe. I'm not afraid. We, we can't just leave Aurora like this. I can help. You gotta believe me. Come on, let's go get her heart. Ventus is very gun ho to do what's right, and I appreciate no, it. You're absolutely right. The Forbidden Mountain is through the forest. Come along, follow us. After all, we wouldn't want you to get lost. It's a pretty linear world, but all right. See you, Aurora. And we're back in Enchanted Dominion, but it's going to be a good deal harder than it was for Terra. <laughs> <laughs> the the Onversed are a lot stronger now. Well, first we can take a peek around Aurora's dressing uh, chambers and her bedroom. Obviously, we gotta go into this creepy castle well here. To get sleep, which is very appropriate for the Sleeping Beauty world. Where's my map, though? I thought, I thought the map... Oh, wait, no. Terra stole the map. Don't want it. Anything new at the shop? Oh, we can buy Fundara, Zero Grabber, and Magnara. Yeah, but that's just because I melded them. We can also buy Slow and Stop now. Cool. I'm not going to because we have plenty of other stuff that we need to level up first. So yeah, Ven starts at the end of Terra's version of Enchanted Dominion, and we're basically working our way backwards. <laughs> I am not Roxas. And yeah, we're trying to level up our fire commands. Get them fire boosts mastered. Oh yeah, firestorm. High potion, cool. Sell that for cash money. When are we gonna get our counter, by the way? <laughs> we keep getting our counter in like the third world we go to. Oh, there we go. New finish command. We got Gold Rush. I was figuring that had to have happened soon. Oh, yeah, sure enough. So, Gold Rush is the same as it is in Terra's story. So, we'll just give that a rename. I need. I know Terra had the same command and I gave it a different name, but for this time I'm calling it... I need that money. <laughs> Which I think is great. However, we're going to go back to I Am Not Roxas so we can at least get the Heat Slash because we've got a lot of fire commands in our uh, command deck. And I think we can enter Firestorm command style pretty quickly and get that bad boy without too much trouble. Ah, no high jump. Hello? Any Heartless in here? Sorry, any Unversed in here? There we go. Yo, beautiful. Oh yeah, max level block. Who will use fire commands against the fire enemies? What could go wrong? Yeah. 
Oh man, I love Magnera. Or just the magnet spells in general are really, really good. Not great against bosses, but against generic enemies, oh my gosh, there's really nothing better. Oh hey! The ice cream boys. <laughs> Did I just get something called a forever muffin? That's hilarious. <laughs> Jumbo almond. I'll take it. Okay, we gotta almost have Heat Slash at this point. There we go, Heat Slash 1! Oh! Ventus actually has two different levels of Heat Slash, is that so? Never mind, no he doesn't. It's just Heat Slash 1. That's the only one we have. Alright. <laughs> Dunk on it. I was gonna tell feeling hot, 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 but it's feeling hot, hot, ho. Which is, um, that has a different connotation to it, so maybe not that one. <laughs> Alright, Heat Slash 1 is now the Blazin' Challenge from Buffalo Wild Wings. This is good. We gotta use it at least once, right? I know we've seen it as Terra, but it actually goes into our journal and we use it, so... I want that. Hey, it's the Blazin' Challenge. Oh, that's that's kind of lame. I'll be honest, man, that's kind of lame. Okay, we're immediately going to... <laughs> I expected more from you, the Blazin' Challenge. Okay, uh... <laughs> let's go to... I need that money. <laughs> because we do kind of need that money. And also, it'll be easier to level up our... Default command once we get to later worlds that give us more CP. Hey! <laughs> We're supposed to get money for that. There we go. Okay, that's not the command I wanted to use. That's the one I did. Oh, yeah! Now that's the kind of money I need. Ah, here's the map. Good job, then. Now we won't get lost, right? Maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty bad at directions. Me too, Ben. Me too. Dude, we're getting a lot of money this way. Because at this point, we don't have any... Magnet doesn't send us into any command style, so we can just Magnera every, all the enemies and then use... I need that money on them. <laughs> and we have so many magic hastes already that we can just keep spamming our one Magnega. Or Magna, Magnera. Ooh, I think we now have max level Flame Solo. That's great. Oh boy, a potion. Just what I needed. So remember this big fiery dark wall in Terra's story that he's just like, I shouldn't go past here. Well, v Ventus doesn't. Ventus isn't scared. He's gonna go past it. <laughs> Looks like we're stuck. This must be Maleficent's doing. I know. Boopity boppity boo. Wow, that was easy. Shall we? Yep. Thanks, Fauna. 
Oh, yeah, so this is a new part of Enchanted Dominion we haven't been to. We're now at the Forbidden Mountain. Yeah, Ven kind of explores the whole world. Like, Terra just explores the forest and the castle, and Aqua explores a different part, but Ventus kind of explores the entire world. Which, like, that's cool. Good for you, Ven. Let's not leave any treasure behind, though. Dang. <laughs> Ven Ventus is supposed to be, like... I think 13 or 14 maybe and he's just super gun ho just like yes yeah, so let's go to this creepy castle and save the girl's heart so this is where the world differs so these guys are goons they are not unversed and they can be quite nasty they pack a punch there are two types of goons so these are the main goons and then there are also archer goons who can snipe you from a distance they are mo much more annoying There they are. We're just gonna use that magnet to get rid of them. Ouch. Need that money. It's kinda cool how we actually get like non-unversed enemies in this world. I do like that. But man, especially if you're doing a level 1 run, those goons will destroy you. Ooh, and we got Cure. Nice. Ooh, Fire reached its maximum level. How wonderful. What, uh, what can we replace it with? Oh, we'll replace it with Zero Gravera, which also gives us Magic Haste. <laughs> How wonderful. Also... Is our shot lock at uh, a max level as well? It is, so now we can start leveling up Thunderstorm, I suppose. I mean, I prefer Flame Salvo, especially with all the fire boosts that we have, but... We'll take what we can get, I suppose. So we can't get up to that castle wall. So we're gonna have to go inside the castle. Ooh, it's dark and creepy. Careful, they are Maleficent's. I just killed a whole bunch Careful, of them. They ain't guarding nothing. Tension. <laughs> no sleeping on the job. Man, I, I gotta say, <laughs> I like Ven as a protagonist more than Terra. <laughs> Take out Maleficent's goons. With pleasure. <laughs> I need their money. So now more of Maleficent's goons will spawn from the different entrances. So you gotta be on your guard there. Why did you not fly into my magnet? I guess you haven't heard. I need that money. This fight can be quite dangerous if you're not prepared. Okay, I guess when they're spawning in, they just aren't affected by things like Zero Gravity and Magnet. One other thing that you can do is D-Link. But I don't think we need to. Oh yeah. We also do have Cura, in case we run low on HP. But there are a lot of goons to deal with. Like, a lot of goons. Like, look at how many there are. Ooh, that was a mistake, bro. Payback raid is going to wreck you. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I need that money. <laughs> Dane, good job then. Magnera, man. Magnera is so good. Oh, and we just got Aurora to max level as well. Sweet. Okay, what can we equip instead? Oh! We have two more fires that are ready to meld. Well. Do we have another shimmering crystal? We do. Get that last fire boost. <laughs> Trust me, all those fire boosts are gonna be worth it. Flame Salvo will be even more powerful, and um, our Mega Flare is gonna be a whole lot better than Terra's. I hyped up Mega Flare as being stupidly good, and I didn't use it that much as Terra, and that's just because Terra's magic stat is really bad. 
Venz is a lot higher. Which means uh, Mega Flare is going to do a whole lot more damage. And with free fire boosts, oh man, nothing will survive. Okay, this room is not great. It looks like an open room, but it's not. Yep, these walls will appear just all around for us to navigate past. Lovely. Finding everything in this room is a huge pain in the butt. However, there are these teleporters that we can use to, well, you can guess. Also, be on the lookout. Some of the teleporters will change color, and depending on what color they are, that will change where they take you. Uh, then, you really got to work on your aiming skills. So I think this is just a straight line. The only way we can go is down here. Hey, bros! That didn't give me nearly as much money as I thought. Uh. Ouch! Oh, you guys are dead! No! Why did you aim for that guy? Oh, maybe there were no other guys to aim for. Okay, one thing I'm gonna do just temporarily, I'm gonna equip a sliding dash. So that way we can sequence break one of these chests. Just, I can't remember which way we're supposed to go. I think down here... Oh, there's nothing down this way. It's a dungeon, and I think there's somebody in there, but never mind. So there's only one way we can go. Back up the stairs. Zero gravity is underrated as well. It's not as good as magnet, but still pretty doggone good. There are some treasure chests in here that can be hard to find, so... Yeah, see this one here? You see how it's yellow? And then it changes to, like, a whitish purple? Yeah, those will take us to two different areas. For example, this one takes us to a chest. I think it only leads to the chest. And a puzzle piece. Confetti st or not a puzzle piece, a sticker. Speaking of which, let's start putting our stickers down. Ven is a different sticker compared to uh, Terra. As you can see, uh, Terra's was all about rumble racing, uh, Ven's is all about the ice cream beat. There we go. We put Louie down. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. That's the stuff. Balloons, those will go in the air. We get a Wellspring Crystal! Yay! Confetti! Oh. There we go. <laughs> Good job, Ben. You know how to arrange stickers on your book. Very proud of you. This takes us back here, and now we take the yellow teleporter, and we go to a different location. Keep an eye out for those changing color teleporters. Yeah. Give me all your money. Yeah. All of it! Yeah. Okay, that's where we need to go. But we haven't gotten all the chests yet, so... Really? They respawn already? 
Okay, so this is the only... Actually, this is, the I think, the only way we can go. Okay. Then in that case, we are unequipping our slide dash until we get back to that room with the chest. We're also going to re-equip our flame salvo just to help out with the boss of this world, because the boss of this world can actually be pretty tricky. Ooh, pit of fire. Ben's like, I'm not afraid. That should do it. Oh, yeah. Well, bro, you, you released her heart, but where's it gonna go? <laughs> oh, it doesn't just go right back to her? Uh, no. <laughs> Don't you remember? We've met before. We... we have? Why, of course, you said so yourself. Once upon a dream. That's a little weird, bro. She's like, oh, okay, I believe you. Wow. She went from being, like, kind of scared of the guy to, like, oh, yes, hold hands meet you. in about Outside a second. Of my dreams, that is. Who are you? What's your name? Hmm? Oh, my name. Why, it's... Oh, oh, no, I can't. Goodbye. I must see you. I don't know. Maybe someday. When? Tomorrow? Oh, no. This evening. At the cottage, in the glen. I've always thought that dialogue was really weird. Which it sounded like she's like, no, we'll see each other again someday. And then he's like, okay, look, tomorrow. She's like, no, sooner than that. It's like, so, see you uh, later tonight. It always seemed like stiff dialogue, even in the movie. Also, we get no context behind that at all. Ven's like, I understand the movie entirely. Aurora's memory. She must have gotten her heart back. So her dream how do how do we know that? <laughs> we didn't see it go back. Came true. Yes, not long ago. Dreams are very strong beliefs. Aurora's led her to her true love. I see you hold strong beliefs too, don't you, dear? Yeah, but why haven't I been led to my you true also love? Also, have a strong light. Hmm. All right, hurry. We can't stay here. Only those of a strong light can have dreams, people. That's apparently canon to the Kingdom Hearts world. Alright, we're now in a new area. Okay, no, that leads back to the throne room. We're not going that way. Okay, I can't remember if we took the blue teleporter or the green teleporter before. I think maybe we took... I think we actually did take the blue teleporter before. I think maybe green teleporter takes us to a different treasure chest. I'm at least gonna find out. Oh wait, that's the throne room. Oh, never mind. So we couldn't take this before. Wait, no! But my treasure chest. There are treasure chests that I need. I need them. I guess I don't get them. Not yet, anyways. Oh, wait. Hang on. We need our sliding dash. We also are going to need to take out the enemies in this room pretty quickly. Because otherwise, when we use Sliding Dash, it might auto-lock onto one of them. Also, look how much faster my, like, Magnera and Commands are refilling compared to Sliding Dash. Ouch. It's not very nice. Okay, here we go. This. 
Sliding dash leads us to this chest, which has Tornado Strike. Again, that's a chest we're not supposed to get until much later in the uh, game. But, uh, that's a pretty advanced command, and I'm so glad we have it already. Okay, one place we were supposed to get to, over here. Now, these guys very rudely knocked us down when we tried this, but if we go this way, it takes us back to the hall. And this should be where we can get our remaining treasure chests. Like a high potion. Oh, there's a second green teleporter here. A wellspring crystal. And a hungry crystal. Hungry, hungry crystals. Okay, at this point we can re-equip that Fyra. Tornado Strike. Press triangle at the right times to knock nearby enemies into the air with a series of whirlwinds. Uses two slots. Obviously that's a little too expensive for us to use right now. But maybe in the future. Okay, now we don't... I'm like, did we get the counterattack and I just didn't know? No, we didn't. Oh yeah, that's what I want to do. Reports. Did we get all the treasures in this world? No. Oh, we're missing four? We're missing four chests? Really? Thought we did a great job grabbing them all, but... Oh, maybe there are some that we can't reach until later on. Actually, I think that's definitely the case. Like, we need high jump to reach the castle walls, which have some. I think we've gotten all the chests that we can get at this point, though. Unless I was a big dumb dumb and like, it's like, nope, we missed some in the main castle room. Stefan's castle, it is, not Maleficent's castle. May as well top off our HP, because we are about to go into boss time. Someone has released Aurora's heart. Tell me, child, was it you? Maybe. Maleficent. Only because you stole it in the first place. Dane, Ventus does not care at all. <laughs> A keyblade? You must be Ventus. Huh? How do you know about me and the Keyblade? My powers ensure I'd know of the key to bringing me hearts. Terra gave me a demonstration. <laughs> Terra? He was here? Why, yes. In fact, it was he who stole Princess Aurora's heart. That's a lie! I was asked to leave you unharmed. But it seems I have no choice. Oh, yeah. Guess what, folks? Terra had to fight a spinning wheel. Ventus has to team up with the fairies and defeat Maleficent. And Maleficent, uh, she got the moves. First off. Flame Salvo with free fire boost is going to deal a good amount of damage. Ooh, yeah. You're not hitting me that easily. Okay, now you will, but... This is the power of fire boosts, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now I think she's going to desperation move. Yep. She's gonna make a bunch of lightning fall. We just gotta avoid those. She also has a really cool move that she hasn't used yet. Fire. 
You're gonna have to do better than that, Maleficent. Bye. There we go, more HP, and we get the Thunderbolt command style. Yes, we have the Thunder, Lightning, and Ice command styles within the first trio of worlds as Ventus. Hooray! Man, okay, Maleficent has a move where she literally creates galaxies and throws them at you. But she didn't use it, so... Again, free fire boosts, max level flame solo, you can destroy her pretty quickly. There's no way Tara would hurt somebody like that. You don't believe me? That's unfortunate, for he agreed so easily. He did? Ben, don't be fooled! Huh? Aqua! Tara would never do that. You know that as well as I do. Yeah. But he did. <laughs> kind of. The truth can be most cruel, even amongst the closest of friends. After all, one never knows the secrets of another's heart. I'm sure you'll agree, Ventus. Aqua. No. <laughs> the Master sent me. Huh? Then, let's go home. I love, I love how we're just having this heartfelt conversation while Maleficent's just right here. At, like, <laughs> you're like oh, I got beat up by a literal child. <laughs> but Terry not ready to leave yet. Aqua, did you just see me kick like Maleficent's right butt? Now, he's leaving you behind. And by the by time you catch up, he'll be a different person. Why are you believing Creepy Mask Boy? Why is everybody believing, like, these obviously evil characters so easily? Sorry, Aqua. But I can't go with you. What? It's just... I have to find him before it's too late. Why? Bro. Tara, where are you? And here we get the Fairy Stars Keyblade. Yep, Keyblade the Pride's a balance boost in strength and magic. We didn't really use that Keyblade as Tara, but I think we will as Ventus. Because Ven is more about that magic. Huh? Him again. Hey, bro. Why are we trusting Creepy Mask Boy? <laughs> oh, yay! We could have enchanted Dominion, though. Oh, now we can go to <laughs> Creepy Lion King World, the Badlands, slash the Keyblade Graveyard. But we don't know that's what it is now. Okay. First dreams first. Uh, before we do that, we're opening up our Keyblades. Uh, Stroke of Midnight's terrible. It literally has less strength. Fairy Stars has less strength, but more magic. And because we have more of a magic build right now, I will equip it. I think that's a good idea. Ooh, also... Mm. No, I think... I think I will keep all of these equipped, if for nothing else, then all those magic cases are going to be really nice. Even if zero grab- Actually, no, no, here we go. This should, this will actually be entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Let's visit this unknown world. Combat level four. I think this- I think chronologically this is taking place after Terra talks with Master Xehanort here. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe this is while Terra's at Yen Sid's Tower. Hiding? Actually, yeah, I think this I think Terra's at Yen Sid's Tower right now. Alright. What did you mean about Terra being a different person? Exactly what I said, idiot. Really? Terra, you know, will be gone forever. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid or true. A keyblade? <sighs> Good. Let's see what you're made of. And here we go, our first fight against Vanitas. Defeat the Masked Boy. Technically, Terra fought Vanitas at the end, but Vanitas was really holding back. Here, we're gonna see what he's made of. So he can just shoot fire at us, which splits into homing fire. 
He also has a really kicking boss theme. Yeah, okay. Sure, why not? That really all you got? Man, you are worthless. I'd be going against the master's orders, but so what? As far as I'm concerned, this job here is done. Cool effect. Dang, he just killed us. Don't worry, you're safe. Hey, Mickey! And Mickey's got his Star Seeker Keyblade. Yeah, so remember how Mickey used his Star Shard and flew away from Yudson's Tower when Terra arrived? Yeah, he flew here to save us. Thanks, Mickey. There we go. So, you basically have you have to die in that first fight. Team up with the newcomer and defeat the masked boy. So now, we team up with Mickey and we get to defeat Vanitas together. Problem is, because Mickey's here, we can't actually use Deleuze. However, <laughs> Vanitas is actually susceptible to Magnera. Actually, I think any kind of magnet we can hit with Vanitas with. That's an annoying part, yeah. Like, we can combo him and he can just break out of the combo through his teleports. Don't, no, hey! No one does that to my friend! Thanks, Mickey! Would you like to be embarrassed by Magnet again, Vinius? I will! So this is our first kind of actually truly tough fight. As Vinitas hits like a truck. Especially on critical mode. Yes, he's also susceptible to zero gravity. as well. Vinitas is actually susceptible to most status effects, which is really funny. It's great if in that first phase, if you D-Link with Snow White, you can use Sleepy pretty much over and over again due to her really fast recharge, and just continually put him to sleep over and over. I wanted to try that out, but he killed me before I could. I need that money. <laughs> no, I don't need you, Mickey. <laughs> Although Vanitas does an annoyingly good job of avoiding our shot lock. Okay, Mickey, we will team up. If Mickey says, let's team up, then that means we can do like a reaction command together. Here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, that attack of his is really powerful. And I was admittedly at kind of low HP. Yeah, Ven Venetus, even though he's susceptible to uh, the status effects, he's no joke on critical mode. Yeah, well, we can't D-Link anybody here. If you've got somebody fighting with you, D-Link is off the table. Okay, can we please... Ven is really bad at aiming when Magnus is up. Yeah, he can literally just avoid our attacks, and there's nothing we can do about it. It's very obnoxious. Of course, our dodge roll is really good at avoiding attacks. Oh no. Alright, take this, Vanitas. I need a heal. Mickey, you wanna heal? Thank you, Mickey. Oh, 
Yes, let's. Man, that's not doing anything to Vanitas. Okay, it did at the end there. How do you like max level flame solo? He keeps teleporting out of it. Oh, there we go. That'll deal some extra damage. Not a lot, though. Yes. <laughs> Suffer with the Magdara. Oh no. Dana Vanitas has one of the best battle themes, though. Bye bye. <laughs> there we go. We get more max HP and our deck capacity increases. Nice. No joke. That was a good fight, though. took off without telling him oh well what you gonna do well, that makes both of us I ran off too all I have to do is think it and the star shard will take me anywhere I want to go at least I thought it would I haven't quite got the fine points down like when or where it just kind of kicks in whenever it wants to but I wouldn't have met you if it hadn't brought me here thanks star shard well, it might not be an accident Maybe it starts working because it's reacting to something. Hmm? Maybe. And we obtained high jump. I don't know why. And we forged a D-Link with Mickey! Terra never got that D-Link. <laughs> Mickey is quite a fun D-Link as well. I'm excited to do that. But we're not going to Radiant Garden today. However, before episode before the episode ends, we will be heading back to Mirage Arena. And we'll try at least a couple of them arena challenges. Alright, so we have room for another one here. Maybe we want to start leveling up another cure. Or maybe another Thunder. Or honestly, maybe another Magnet. <laughs> oh man, there's just so many good ones that we can equip! I can't choose! <laughs> I don't know which one to use. Okay, with Zero Gravera and Magnera, we don't need another Magnet. So I'll leave that off. Maybe... Oh! We got all these Blizzards. Let's start using Blizzard. I will keep Flame Salvo equipped as well, because I do want a nice, powerful shot lock for these. Alright, we can start off with Day of Reckoning. Should be pretty similar to what Terra does, but... Terra relied more on Brute Strength, we're gonna rely more on Magic here. Aw, oh, yeah. Such a dopey-looking Keyblade, but it's okay. Oh, 
I need that money. <laughs> I hope we can get another finish command. Oh, yes. I thought I'd get more money than that. <laughs> we already have five magic hastes, and now we can basically just spam Magnera as much as we want. One Magnera pulls in all the enemies, and by the time they're done, by the time, like, they get out, my Magnera has recharged, so I can just pop it again. This is perfect. Who needs command styles when I got money? Okay, Magnera doesn't necessarily pull in everything. Alright, this is gonna be our str oh no, the bunnies are annoying though. Wow, they gave me a lot of money though. This is, this is too easy. were easy, but now we gotta face the real challenge. The boss. Iron and Prisoner 1 is back. But thankfully, he's still largely imprisoned. And this is where Shot Locks. in the cage. That's not where I want to be. Let's just keep dodge rolling. <laughs> Once your dodge roll is max level, if you keep spamming dodge roll, you're almost invincible. He's imprisoned. Iron and Prisoner 1 is still tricky. Especially since we don't have damage siphon. Ooh! But Firestorm dealt a lot of damage. That's great. We didn't get the max level shot lock, but that's okay. Okay, this guy is super annoying. I hate how he doesn't stagger from damage, like, ever. Also, this guy is huge. Why am I not able to shot lock him a bunch? There, die. <laughs> wow, that guy was a lot harder to take down than I expected. I almost died multiple times. Then again, Ventus also is one of the most fragile characters. He has very low HP and defense, so... Yes! I only healed four times, so I get the bonus medals. And we get the arena level up. Nice. We can try Weaver Fever. Oh, but our Fyra has reached... So we now have two Fyras at max level, folks. And this is... This is very good. This is very, very good. We can go Fyra, Fyra with Wellspring Crystal, and we get Fyraga with once more. That will be 
Very valuable indeed. All right, Weaver Fever time. Initial strategy is gonna be the same as before, just Magnera the enemies. Keep using, I need that money. <laughs> and the only tough part's gonna be the boss. Hopefully. Okay, the enemies here are a lot more durable, so it's taken a little more than just I need that money to bring them down. Still, seems to be working out. What? How did they hit me when I already had used zero gravity read them? You lose. I don't think I should have lost. I literally used zero gravity on all of them and they drifted, but then I somehow still took damage, even though they can't attack me while they're in drift mode. Okay. That was weird. Let's try that again. Okay, that was a lot smoother. Going into Thunderbolt Command style was a lot better. Alright. Time for Wheelmaster. This is where our shot locks come in. I never equipped high jump. Man, this guy's got a lot of HP. Okay, this guy's gonna take a while to bring down, I think. Given how high his HP bar is. Why is he not taking damage? Uh oh. Okay, good. Still connected. At least he's not super powerful. Man, the command styles are useful, though. <laughs> and so is max level flame solo with triple fire boost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep my distance with me. I love how we can shoot Blizzard while we're in a fire based command style. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Yes. Okay, that didn't hit him as much as I wanted. Wait. I really... Okay, for this fight, I really have to keep a close eye on my HP gauge. 
Because if like one attack, he can just knock me down to like no HP. Oh yes! That's what I want to see. Oh yeah. Okay, the Firestorm finisher is amazing. Oh jeez! How dare you. Alright, yeah, just keeping up this strategy over and over again. It's gonna take a while to beat him, but we will eventually beat him. Okay, we destroyed his freaking wheel. Oh, okay. Chill out, buddy. Chill out. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. My cure is on cute cooldown. Save me, dodge roll. Save me, dodge roll. Thank you, dodge roll. I really remember Flame Solver doing more damage than that. Die, Wheelmaster. Wow. That was a long fight. Presumably because I'm not as strong as Terra, and I'm not as high of a level as Terra was when I did this in his story, but... <clears throat> oh, yeah. I got the bonus medals. No worries about that. Yay, we played for Weaver Fever. How wonderful. Now we can get more prizes that we don't really care about. Lovely. How about I wait till I get <laughs> can get Photon Charge? That's the one I really want. Oh boy, look at all this stuff that has reached a higher level. This is fantastic. Okay, Fundaga is now max level, which is wonderful. We'll have Fyraga at the start. Alright, what do we have? We still have another Fire. Yeah, I want to level that up. We should replace this with a Cure. We'll replace that with a Magnet. Oh, our Blizzards are now max level. So we can at least meld those together. Blizzard, Blizzard Wellspring to get Blizzara with Combo Plus. Thunder, Fundara with Hungry Crystal to get Fundaga with Treasure Magnet. And you know what? We'll use Blizzara instead of that. And for next time, we will equip Thunderstorm so we can level that up instead. Alright, well, that may have been a bit on the lone side, but that's going to do it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Thanks for watching. Next time, we head over to the Radiant Garden, and, well, we already get at least somewhat of a glimpse at what Ventus does here, based on what we've seen in Terra's story. But, this is where, uh, the game starts kicking off, really. <laughs> we get more powerful commands, and we also will start getting a lot more CP and experience points, so that'll be fun. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless. Thank you.